Huh? Uh, oh no. What is that? Uh. Welcome back to Super Mom TV, the channel that brings you the best tips, strategies, and tools for building a profitable online business. In today's video, I'm going to share how you can sell service confidently as a beginner in job servicing. On this channel, I often share how you can grow your online business just like what I'm doing today. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Job servicing for the first time can be quite intimidating. It involves you selling the services that are not done by you and you have not sold the services before in your life to a complete stranger. So in today's video, I've specially prepared 7 tips for you to start job servicing confidently. Tip number 1 is to study your target audience. This way you can focus on what they usually need and it gives you the chance to break the ice. By doing so, you can easily build connection and trust with the prospects. Identify problems and objections that they may have. Prepare a set of solutions for them so that you are ready and use it to convince them when they make an inquiry. Tip number two is to build credibility by providing valuable, relevant and consistent content. This makes you seem confident about your services and more credible in the field. When you are more credible, your clients trust you more and it will be easier for you to turn them into your paying clients. Tip number three is to have product knowledge. It is important that you understand not only how your service functions, but also the specific features that will help solve any problems that your clients may have. Product knowledge will help you to provide clear and sound customer advice, explain how your product will be of value as well as accurately answer any customer questions. Prepare a set of frequently asked questions that your client might ask beforehand so that you can answer them promptly. You will be surprised at how impressed your client's going to be. Tip number four is to browse through the terminology. Each service has its own set of terminology. To feel more confident before you start job servicing, get to know some of it first. This way, you won't feel unfamiliar when your clients mention some of the terms. Tip number five is to find out from your freelancer before you start promoting any of the services. Ask them what they need and the full process involved to get the job done. They are more than willing to get you through. This step is crucial to reduce back and forth communications between you and the prospect. We do not want our prospects to get frustrated over too much back and forth. When you are ready and clear on the different aspects of your services, you will appear much more confident. Tip number six is build portfolios. Showing your previous work to your prospects will instantly boost confidence in you and your prospects. By showcasing your previous projects, your prospects will become more interested in engaging you for the service. If you are a total beginner in job servicing and do not have any portfolio to showcase, you can watch my video here whereby I show you two hacks to get portfolio. Tip number seven is call to action. Many newbies in job servicing do not have the confidence to persuade their prospects to buy their services. So call to action is a must do step if you want to close your first client as well as your subsequent clients. Call to action is the only chance to motivate your prospects to take real steps towards becoming your client. It can be as simple as buy now and you will get the project done in one day's time. We accept PayPal and so on. The right call to action at the perfect moment can push the person in the right direction, sealing the deal and ideally creating a loyal client. The call to action can be a subtle or a blunt way to tell your client that he or she should take the action now for the best benefit. Preparing all the above before starting job servicing can help boost your confidence in selling tremendously. You cannot skip any of the tips I just mentioned. Apply all the 7 tips and let me know if they have made any difference in your job servicing business. 
Please leave any questions for me in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye!